Hello, this is Lance with Brando Consulting. In this video, we're going to take a look at shipping. Let's take a look. Shipping in Fishbowl can be done in a batch or per order. And before you ship, it has to be packed. Makes sense. We want to put it in the box first. We may print out a packing list for that box and possibly print out a shipping label. Usually what happens is it's all packed up, a shipping label is slapped on the box, and a pile of boxes goes in the FedEx pile, another pile goes in the UPS pile. Maybe there's a, a larger pallet for freight shipments to your larger, um, your larger distributors and customers, and maybe there's U, UPS, USPS parcel pile as well. So shipping happens from the shipping screen. If we want to ship one order at a time, simply click the item, double click the order that you need to ship, and click the ship button. Now what happens when you do that is it takes the inventory out of stock, finally. This is the step that that happens. It also queues up a transaction to be sent to QuickBooks. If this order has already been paid for in full, then it will create an, a sales receipt in QuickBooks. If it has not been paid for in full, then this order will create a invoice in QuickBooks. And the only items that will be included on the invoice or the sales receipt are items that have actually been shipped. Okay. So you see here that we've shipped it out. Now we have an option also to email a packing list to the customer. So if we click email, it looks like I don't have uh, email set up. Um, let me just quickly throw something in there. Uh, Gmail at smtp.com. Uh, we'll say um, it's it's obvious it's not going to work, but if we have something in there, then uh, once my return address, Lance at Brando Consulting.com. Okay, so we'll apply that. If we just have something in there just to practice with, then when we click this email button, it'll actually light up and do something. So it's grabbing the main contact of the customer to email it to. You can change this. This email is text only. It's very simple. Um, you can add a, a template here also. I, I, I guess I kind of skipped that. Let me go back to tools, module options, email, and we can actually throw a template in here. I'm going to browse to C program files, fishbowl client, email templates, ship template. I've done this like a hundred times. Okay, so now we have a template here. And one thing it's missing is the tracking number. Tracking number, I'll go over that in another uh, video. We can add uh, an automation fill here, a merge fill to add tracking number to this. So this is a great tool. It adds the packing list to the attachment if you want to send a notification to your customer when you ship. There's a feature here that actually automatically always sends an, the packing list via email to customers who have an email uh, to notify them when shipped. So let's take a look at um, batch shipment. Uh, this is when the UPS or FedEx truck comes to pick everything up, right? So when they come, click on this batch shipment button and then select the carrier that's picking everything up. Now we don't have any FedEx carriers. So I'm just going to, for demo purposes, select all. And the idea here is you'll have the list just assigned to that carrier. And then as the parcels go out the door, you can check check, check, check the ones that went out the door. Click next and here's 
the option to email the packing list notification to the customer so they can just quickly use the tracking information and look up the tracking information instead of call your customer service people and ask what the status of their order is. Once we click finish, boom, 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 those orders are shipped out. They're queued up to go over to QuickBooks. Uh, this is just saying I didn't set up my email right, and you know I didn't. Um, so these orders will go over to QuickBooks, and you can now send out the invoices from QuickBooks. So they're shipping out a fishbowl. Just quick, light overview, plain and simple. Thanks for joining us today at Brando Consulting.